I think that when we talk about Syria today, the violence is right up in our face. But there's also a different kind of war that is taking place that is really akin to a, a culture war. People have radically different views um, of what is happening inside their country. And I think that it, it has threatened the very identity of what it means to be a Syrian today because you don't have the same agreement on core national issues that you've had in the past. The fact that you could speak to two different Syrians and, and one person would say, this is really about uh, what it's been about for every other country in this region. It's our turn. This is, you know, the Arab revolutions have come to Syria. We just want what other Arabs have been able to get by going onto the street and demanding uh, democracy and human rights and self-determination. And somebody else would say, no, this is really a conspiracy that's being launched by the European, uh, Western, American hegemonic access to cripple Syria to make it weak. Bashar al-Assad's regime insists it's a foreign conspiracy. This is really what uh, the culture war breaks down to, is it two completely different readings of what is happening in the same country. And I think that's actually something that's very healthy. Um, as frustrating as it can be for any one person on either side to hear reality described in such a different way, it can be a maddening thing. But this is something that we experience in uh, in, for example, the United States. I mean, every time an election comes around, uh, there is a clear set of uh, visions for what this country is facing and what the solutions are. And I think that in the Middle East today, we're seeing dozens of visions for what is wrong with the region and how to solve those problems. There's no way that you, you can tackle the, the range of problems, the range of conditions that, are, that the region is facing, whether it's illiteracy, malnutrition, human rights of all kinds. There's no way you tackle that without leveraging the human capital of your population. And that requires dissent, it requires debate, and it requires um, finding common ground by exchanging ideas.